Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkset application. My name is Daniel O. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to create a function project with the Quarkus based on OpenShift Subalice Laser Function capability. Uh, with the OpenShift Laser version 4.6, uh, include uh, OpenShift Subalice 1.11 operator. Uh, which allows you to have a powerful command line interface to create a function. As you can see, you can have a, a developer experience to use a KNAV service command line, also known as KN CLI. And you can actually, there are a KN Funk, uh, one of the plugins uh, in KN service command line to create your function application. And your function application will be built based on the build path, and then you can deploy KN CLI. And also, you have a multiple project template, but in this case, we're gonna more focus on Quarkus project to create your function application. Let's get into demo. Okay, here's my uh, sample application in OpenShift Container Platform. As you can see, there's no resource at this moment, no pod, no resource at this moment. Let's try to create a new function project using knfunk CLI. So knfunk create uh, the function name, Quarkus dash funk. And I'm going to use uh, runtime Quarkus. The simple command line uh, is automatically generated generate a new Quarkus project based on Maven uh, architecture. So let's uh, open ID2, uh, take a look at the more detail, uh, what kind of application uh, is generated. When you open a funk YAML file, it's automatically generated uh, using CLI. And then you can find the, the function name, but there's no uh, auto wire the namespace and uh, image image digest but we're gonna do that uh, during the next uh, command line don't worry about that and one thing you can actually uh, select the builder image for JBM or native uh, whatever you need uh, depending on your workload and then when you open the generate uh, resource file and you can find that the one simple application but we are using the fun funky annotation uh, the one of the uh, uh, feature of the uh, Quarkus, it aims to provide a portable Java API for Java developer to write a function and you could deploy a multiple fast platform like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and KNAV on OpenShift container platform. The simple input output messaging uh, is a JSON format uh, when you invoke this function. So let's try to uh, change the directory in your uh, uh, project and I try to deploy the application using KN funk command line. It's simple. So we're gonna uh, define and specify the registry, container registry, like external registry, like a dark hub, query.io. I'm gonna use uh, query.io and the namespace with the dash N. And the V option is a purpose. So you can find all uh, logs during the build and deploy. So the deploy uh, command line actually include uh, the build uh, application as well. So I'm gonna use the build path uh, to uh, build this application function uh, to deploy OpenShift container platform at this moment. So as you can see, once you uh, complete the build and we're gonna push this application container to external registry I specify in the query.io. And when you go to back to YAML file, you can find the image, image digest automatically update based on the CLI command line. Go back to Operation Container Platform. As you can see, the Quarkus application already uh, started and we did JVM mode and uh, we just need to 4.2 seconds to start up this application. Uh, this is uh, the endpoint of the function. So let's try to access the endpoint uh, using this HTTP PI utility. So we're gonna pass down one JSON format uh, parameter like a message and a name, like a, my name is Daniel. And then we're gonna call the endpoint to trigger the HTTP protocol. And then you can see the Daniel O, the return message as we can expect it in our source code. And then in the meantime, we're gonna add uh, the label because we're gonna deploy one more purpose application with the native comparison. So in order to distinguish between two different Quarkus applications, we're gonna add the label with the Quarkus. So luckily, Open Container Platform provide a very nice, awesome uh, Quarkus icon on your pod. As you can see, the Quarkus icon uh, shows up on your pod. And this application will be scaled down to zero automatically, uh, along with the default configuration of KNAV serving. 
So default configuration is 30 seconds. So next to 20 or 30 seconds, it will be scaled down to zero. In the meantime, let's take a look at what kind of uh, KN or CLI are more available to create your uh, function uh, project. So the KN function create, you could define and specify the specific runtime like a Node.js, Quarkus, and Go. And you can also trigger the, your function with HTTP and cloud event more specifically event uh, programming. And you can actually separately build your application before deploy uh, using KNA, uh, KM font build command line. You could specify image name and a registry name and also the specific path to your function project. And the deploy also, I already used that. And then you can actually uh, use the uh, uh, DCC, and you can interact in the mode. And in the meantime, our the function is scaled down to zero along with uh, the subnet serverless capability. Okay, it's already scaled down to zero. So let's try to invoke this application one more time uh, with the different uh, variable like a open shift serverless function uh, with quarkers. It's a different uh, the parameter, and then when you trigger the application, it's automatically your function is scaled up just like serverless behavior, and then you got a, the right result in your command run. Pretty awesome. So let's try to deploy Quarkus application as a native comparison and change the name, like a function name uh, dash native, and the image name, the different from dash native. And also, uh, we're going to use native builder, so change that uh, native. And uh, I'm going to use the same thing uh, by default. And I'll go back to command line and let's try to redeploy this application using uh, KNM command line, KN phone deploy and uh, just done. Because we already upgrade, uh, update our uh, YAML file. As you can see, we're gonna use native builder image and a running image based on native comparison. And then uh, it will uh, still using build path to build this application and compile this Java application. First of all, we're gonna create uh, thing jar, and then we're gonna one more time packaging this application for native compo native executable file. It takes a little bit longer than uh, previous just native uh, just the maple package the application. Uh, we gotta just build success, and uh, now we're gonna push this uh, containerized application to uh, external my quay.io registry, and now we're gonna wait for. Uh, new uh, function on OpenShift Container Platform. Let's go back to OpenShift Container Developer Console. As you can see, now we have a new Quarkus application based on native comparison, and also we just need 30 milliseconds to start up. So previously we needed to uh, 4.9 seconds, but same application, so huge fast, supersonic fast, super uh, fast uh, rather than uh, the other Quarkus application. All right, the last step, we're gonna access the endpoint uh, with the new route URL uh, using the HTTP Pi, just like we did previously. So echo uh, the message name and uh, the new parameter like a uh, Quarkus uh, native with uh, open shift serverless uh, functions. Yeah, that's cool. And then a uh, new route URL. Uh, we're gonna pass down that thing. Okay, and then once you click on that, and just wait, and uh, just wait for this uh, application will be scaled down to zero. Just make sure it will be scaled up automatically, just like a serverless behavior. So it takes a little bit more time. Okay, just scaled it down to zero. Let's just, uh, fire up the new endpoint, and as you can see, our Quarkus application scale up automatically, but pretty much faster than uh, previous the JVM Quarkus application and the, the we got a return code. And now uh, you can actually uh, find uh, how many function is uh, deployed uh, using KNF function. Uh, we're gonna we can actually deploy one of the function if you don't need that thing any longer, and then it's automatically delete all related uh, the serverless resources on a particular container platform. It takes a little bit time, a little bit a uh, few seconds to finish. Uh, deleting and then we go to back here and uh, just try to make sure to find the function list and uh, now we have a one function list here. Thank you for watching. If you have more interesting around the Quarkus application development or a serverless 
on OpenShift Container Platform, please don't hesitate to reach out to directly to Red Hat Associate Ed. We are more than happy to address your question. Thank you for watching. Have a rest of the day.